and shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, call her lie and lie, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakodash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Which means give the bonus to the editors of Israel, which is the apostles and editors of Great Millstone who teach and will well, and Shalom wa Wa'ahala Habachaya Shayas Allah, which means peace and love to the leg of Israel. And come back again to the spirit power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Racha Kodash, Anbora from Jim S. Memphis Camp. In the name of this lesson, will be titled This Word Ain't Forever. This Word, this society. This age, this lifetime ain't forever. So I'm going to grab some precepts, let the scriptures let the scriptures do the talking, a little willing this lesson be edifying to the let. So let's start with the book of 2 Corinthians 4 and 18. While we look not at the things which I seen, but the things which I not seen. For the things which I seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Right. <laughs> so the, everything that we see in this lifetime, in this present life now, is temporary. We're going to disappear soon. But the things we, which we can't see, which is what the kingdom of heaven, is going to last forever. You see? That's why the scripture said, well, we seek one to come. Hebrews 13 and 14. For here, we, for here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come, which is what? The kingdom of heaven. Yahweh Shemashai Kingdom. You know, Yahweh Shah Kino, man. It said in the NLT, Hebrews 13 to 14. For this world is not our permanent home. Right? This world, this society, is not our permanent home. That's why the scriptures say what? Michael 2 and 10. Why is ye in the pot? For this is not your west. It's gonna destroy you. Let's get it. Mike, uh, what's the, Michael 2 and 10? I'm gonna come back and finish it. Why is you in the pot? For this is not your west. Because it is, it is polluted, right? It is polluted. <laughs> it is should destroy you even with a soul destruction, right? It's going to destroy you, man. This society, this world going to destroy you. So this society is not our wish, man. You know, it going to, hey, they said the whole world lying in wickedness, 4 John 5 and 19. So going back to Hebrews 13 and 14 in the NLT. For this world is not our permanent home. We are looking forward to a home yet to come, which is what? New Jerusalem. Yahweh Shai Kingdom, which is what? An everlasting kingdom. Daniel 7 and 27. In the, in the kingdom, in the kingdom, in the men, in the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. Who are the saints of the Most High? Let's get some scriptures. Let's start with Psalms 15 and 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Who made a covenant with the Lord? The Israelites, Yasha Allah, the so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. And whatever Israel may scatter to, whose spirit goes back to Israelite, man. So we are the saints. Let's get one more. Psalms 148 and 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise you, the Lord, Yahweh, So the saints are the Israelites, not everybody. You know, not you Catholic, uh, Catholic um, priests or whatever, you popes. No, man. Y'all not saints, man. Come on, man. Going back to Daniel 7, 27. The true saints is Yahshua, all of us, starting with the elect. Daniel 7, 27. And the kingdom and the men and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven should be given to the people of the saints. So the kingdom of heaven is for who? The Israelites. Yes, you other nations, you heathens, you go be in it, serving us, man. Isaiah the second chapter, Micah the fourth chapter, man. Come on. It's saying in the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven should be given to the people of the saints of the most high. Whose kingdom? Rulership. It's an everlasting kingdom. And all the means should serve and obey him. Why everybody go bow down or worship our Lord? Yeah, how about you, my shot, man? You see? And that's what we want. That's what we're seeking. <laughs> you know? It said we look for new heavens and a new earth for and do the righteousness, man. Because this world is not at west. This world ain't forever, man. Look at 1 Peter 4 
and uh, seven. But the end of all things is in hand. Why the end? The end of all things, man. But the end of all things is in hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Right. And I'll tell you, the end of the word is coming soon. Right. The end of this word is coming soon, man. The end of who word? Esau. Second answer six. Let's start at seven. The answer I and said, What should be the part and son of the times? Or when should be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob hand had first the hill of Esau. So you can find the same account in the book of Genesis in the beginning, right? Verse 9 For Esau, who is Esau the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. Who is Jacob? Yahshua Allah, us. The beginning of the immortality to come. You see? So this world ain't forever. Esau ain't forever. What make you think his society, his kingdom is forever, man? It don't make sense. You know? <laughs> so why? So this age ain't forever. For When they say word, is speaking of the age. The three uh, classifications of, of word in the scriptures. Cosmos, Orchimony, and Eon. You know what? Before I get that, let's get this in Hebrews real quick. Hebrews 1 and 1. The Most High, who is such as times in diverse manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, by the prophets, had in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed ill of all like whom he had, I'm kind of excited. It said, whom he had appointed ill of all things, by whom also he made the words. What it is? Plural. So you focus on the word words here. In the Greek, is Eon. Eon. Strong's G165. Ion. Ion. So, right. I mean, what? Period of time, age. Right? You know what? Before I get this, let's get type in I, Ion. Eon. However, you say it. So, for six, online etymology dictionary, 1640s from late Latin, Eon. From Greek, Ion. Eon, age, wait, age. You see? Vital force, a period of existence, a lifetime, wait, a lifetime, a generation, a long space of time, wait, so an age, a lifetime, man. So three classifications of word in the scriptures, like John 3, 16, is speaking about what? A specific group of people, the word cosmos, man. You know? <clears throat> it said for specific reference to the word of the people, right? Cosmos. The other one, Okamini, the inhabitant of, right? Then it say, um, let's just read it. It says, Septuagint used both Cosmos and Okamini. Cosmos also was used in Christian religious, writing with a sense of worldly life. This word is opposed to the afterlife. That was an example, right? <laughs> it said, but the more freaking word for this was Aeon, literally lifetime of age right so eon basically mean what lifetime or age so esau is the end of the world this age ain't forever it said it fashions first first corinthians get ready in it first corinthians 7 31 and they that use this word it's not abusing it right because we got to make ends meet in this society we got to pay bills we got to eat you know for the fashion of this world passed away right we ain't building it though, man. We just getting by. It's in the NLT. Those who use the things of the world should not become attached to them. Why we don't become attached to this society, man? You see? It said, for this word, as we know it, will soon pass away by means of what? Fire. You see? The fashion of this world passed away. <laughs> So it say what? But he that do the will, for John 2 and 17, and the word passed away in the lust of us, but he that do the will of you, how about so much shy, about it forever. Why, you going to live forever. It's in the NLT. And this word is fading away, along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases the Most High will live forever. Right? Then this society... 
Don't please the most high, man. You know? What's the John my um have no um have no place in me? Have had nothing in me? What from pill for the Lord when I put that in the uh, description box, man. But let's go back to four John and start at two fifteen. He had nothing in me, some to that effect, you know. But this is 1 John 2, 15. Love not the word, neither the things that are in the word. If any man love the word, the love of the Father is not in him. Why? For all that is in the word, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the word. Why? Of this age. Because Esau is ruling this world right now, man. How we know? Prophecy, man. This nigga still ruling. If it's given to his hand. Isaiah the sister's third chapter haven't happened yet, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it said, in the world passed away, and we would be in the kingdom of heaven if, if Esau were done away with, man. It said, in the, in the world passed away, in the lust in the lust of the world, but he that do the will of the most high, the bad forever, right? So you're going to live forever. This society ain't, ain't going to live forever, man. The Lord says he's angry with the wicked every day. Vengeance burning in his heart, man. You see? So this world ain't forever. It's going to pass away by throwing on nuclear fire, man. We're going to get 2 Peter. It's not in it. Let's start at 3, uh, 10. 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in, a, in a which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the great noise is what? The ICBM nuclear missiles. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the woe star that ends be burnt up. And the scripture say that uh, the earth abideth forever. You know? Uh, Ecclesiastes 1 4, I believe. It's a sin then that all these things should be dissolved. What manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Why? Right. How should you be uh, conducting your life? You know? Knowing these things about to take place on the earth. Knowing that the second death is not. Knowing that Babylon the Great, aka Mel, going to be destroyed by nuclear fire, man. How should you be, how should you be living your life, man? It said, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the most high in the heavens, being on fire. Esau heaven. You see? Being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What can do what can do that, man? Nuclear fire, man. The elements you can't see gonna be gonna be um, melted away, man. It said, nevertheless, we, who is we? The hopeful elect, Lord will I, I am. Lord will I am part of the elect, man. You see, we want the society to be on um, go up in flames, man. It said, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, where in dwell it righteousness, right, man. You see, this is what we looking forward to, man. We looking for Yahweh Shema Shai Kino to be established on earth, man. You know, <laughs> so right, man. So the end of the word of Esau word is coming soon. This word is, is, is not forever. It's temporary, man. So with that, once again, give our praises to you. by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Ha Kodash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of great wisdom who teach and will wear peace and love to let with that shalom. Come as Allah, wa ba ba.